Welcome back, fellow gamers and enthusiasts. I'm Stormy, and today we're back here in Subnautica. Previously, uh, uh, we did explore, and now we got some melons growing, and we also read some more logs, so that is good. So, we still haven't found any power fucking shit, so hopefully, we can find those and continue on our adventure of. Greatness. We can go to the proposed Degasi habitat over here, 250 meters down in the sea. Which we might find, hopefully, a battery. Yeah, I was try I was thinking that I could like maneuver this thing, the sea moth, with uh, you know. Uh, Q and E. That's not what we can do. I don't know if we can go all the way down there safely. I don't know where the entrance is. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Integrating new PDA data. That's not good. Ooh, water filtration. This will be great. New blueprint acquired. 30 seconds. Integrating new PDA data. This will help. New blueprint acquired. It may not be um battery cell charger. But it will still charge my SEMA.
Near blueprint acquired. They have a full inventory? No, okay. Is that everything here? You look up where, uh, battery cell charger is, maybe. Not really. You can just make more batteries. Just really don't want to. Okay, where the fuck is our base? Um... Yeah, we can't move while reading, so that's great. Right? No, but we can listen to, uh... Listen to these things. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Didn't learn that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. My father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> what the fuck? The bird is a interesting person. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enough glass. Oh jeez, so some... I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding... Motherfucker. <laughs> only... well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here? If we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Right.
interesting. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Yeah, I don't know. Words. Oh, we don't realistically need it to be connected. But it's just been nice. Can we put it off here? discovered. Reginald. So we need more titanium. I just want it to be connected to the base. I'm just that picky. All systems online. There we go. We know what we're doing. I hope. Oh yeah, is our millions done? Nice. Make a this thermal plant. Mm. Oh, that's not what we don't need a power cell charger now. But we can make a bed. A law wall locker now. For the seeds. Seeds. Alright, so what's the bed requi require? Probably titanium, which we just used that titanium. 
Yes. Um, we haven't had any titanium laying around. No. Okay. Great. You need a power cell charger. Battery charger, I mean. Which I don't know where the hell I find one of those. Where's my scanner, damn it? Red wart. By the purple. Let's read some of these uh, things that we found. Why the hell not, you know what I mean? Codes and clues. Alright, so we don't need that. Uh, the Gossy survivors, we got some more voice logs. We can read those later. Main plant. A hardy specimen which grows on land. These vase boss like trunk products uh, protects the root system from predation and self repairs over time, explaining the characteristic cracks on its side. Okay. Exploitable. Acid mushroom. Uh -huh. Com common spore breeding fungi species, the flesh contains a highly acidic compound which latches. Leaches into the water and the outer skin is penetrated. If the outer skin is penetrated, it's not clear which predator species necessarily such extreme countermeasures, but the acid mushroom number suggests it uh, has successfully deterred most of them. Inedible acid has applications in bab battery fabrication. Creepvine, a kelp species can, uh, con concentrated in large forests. In shallow sandy waters, loose roots anchor the plant to the seafloor from where it grows steadily towards the surface in pursuit of sunlight. The stem is uh, fibrous and rich in iron, making it both a valuable base material for fabrication of textiles as well as basic food, food stuff. Vital alien resource, edible construction application. Drooping stinger. Zero. Although synthesis cells detected implicates carnivorous adaptation to low light environments, uh, follicles al um, along the tentacles are capable of detecting contact with foreign bar bodies, triggering an e electromagnetic charge in the 600 watt range. Prey is like par likely paralyzed and consume over many weeks. Prey, small fish. Assessment avoid. Uh, Furled papyrus. The function of the uh, distinct curl leaves on this uh, aquatic plant is not immediately clear. It is possible the leaves unfurl in low light conditions or that they are designed to channel water currents through the main body of the plant, thus enhancing nutrient take up. Redboard. A common plant adapted to many different environments, the redboard is a, a sample part of the diet of many small herbs. Herbivores. Rough uh, cradle. A complex cave dwelling floor specimen. The bright yellow core of this plant is protected by a ridge cage, presumably to ward off medium sized herbivores. And, uh, Rathling Weed, well adapted to both shallow waters and caves. This plant lives in symbiosis with a coral species which forms around the base of the stems. Wow, that's, uh, some interesting things. Let's listen to some of these, uh, logs now. They pretty much read everything. Not everything, but. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction Welcome of what I board, pay you, Captain. and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Okay. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning. 
real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Hmm. What's up? Out of power over here. Can I charge my things? Can I charge my equipment with my moon pool? Hmm. Oh no. Swim, Jim, swim. Yes, we fucking need a power cell. So, need a power battery charger, damn it. Keep saying the wrong damn thing. I don't need my battery. I have a dead one. Hmm. What does it take to make batteries? Battery. Acid mushroom and copper. We have those acid mushrooms. We have a acid mushroom, not multiple. Oh shit. I need to figure out where I can find a battery charger. I need that. I need that in my life, like right now. Like right now, before we just go in this frenzy of just trying to find. Fucking battery charger. Why not? The fuck is arrow gel? This. <laughs> it's require. Oh, we not. We do even have that yet. I think we can build a bed at least. So we can progress time. Oh, no fiber mesh. Not silicon rubber. Well, I'm just use my sea moth since it's the only thing that fucking can move me around now. All systems online. I get the seeds. Oh, we wasted a power. How we're gonna survive in this conditions? Hmm. Now we need to make the uh
fucked up. <laughs> to grab the fucking plane itself. Oh, well, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Better know what I do. All systems online. We can get the battery chargers. Then we should be good. Cut down the whole kelp forest. Probably don't want to try that. We don't even have the space to deal with that. Alright, let's try this again. We're probably gonna run out of power because fuck me. Now we have a bed. Uh, it's uh, night time so we can sleep. So what happens? Probably get power back. Hey look, power. <laughs> it's it daytime? It's daytime. It's noon. Nights. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's a good place to leave off to right now today uh, we uh, got we got the moon pool now we can charge the sea moth but I just need to get a battery charger so I can charge all these dead batteries like look at all these dead minus this one so we need to get that charge the batteries and be able to and quickly uh, just continue forward with the uh, batteries anyways I'll see you in the next video bye